Does changing outcomes in the past or future create new timelines? Yes, choices always create new timelines, even in the present. Given the many worlds hypothesis for a multiverse of countless possible parallel dimensional timelines, for the individual time traveler who moves a chair, alters the past or future, their doing so creates a causality ripple that spreads throughout that timeline, gradually branching it away from its original course. These causality ripples can be detected by microwave gravitational pulse echolocation, in theory, allowing a stationary observer in one timeline to be able to find paradoxes caused by time travelers in nearby parallel or bifurcating timelines to their own. Once a new timeline begins to diverge from an existing one, any attempts to correct its course back to its original run the risk of colliding their new timeline into the mainstream version of the timeline they left behind. In biological branching patterns, different branches from different trunks exhibit crown shyness to avoid overlapping one another. However, there does not appear to be any similar check on growth of divergently branching timelines. So, let us say a time traveler arrives in the past and moves a chair. This begins a causality ripple, or temporal echo, emanating outward from that event that triggers, as a chain reaction, a series of events that will tend toward differentiating this new timeline from its predecessor. Just as any attempt to reconverge timelines at this stage will remerge the new and original timelines in unpredictable ways, the timelines themselves will tend to distinguish and differentiate from one another on their own. In short, they either branch apart or else they branch back together and, perhaps ironically, it is safer for them to branch apart than to try to recombine, because doing so could cause unpredictable changes to both. The nature of these causality ripples is such that, at first, the effects of the time traveler altering the timeline will be localized to their immediate location and situation. But this process will, if left unchecked, eventually spread out to influence the divergence of an entire universal timeline. This gradual spreading out throughout all space-time indicates that the effect of the causality ripple may be experienced by one observer earlier than another. This lag in apparent realities, wherein one observer lives in the unaltered original version, and another in an already altered version, results in distortions to how the same event may be perceived, interpreted, and experienced by different individuals. As Nietzsche put it, the same effects in man and woman never cease to differ in tempo, so disagreements between them will never end. So it is with all people that their individual biorhythms rarely synchronize with one another, and so, as Nietzsche put it, they never cease to argue. These biorhythms can be influenced by causality ripples without the individual knowing it. Divergent timeline branches tend to have increased entropy from their parent mainstream or original timeline trunk, and so, tend to terminate sooner than it.